few months to a possible referendum in the country, one which is estimated to take place in June. It's choosing its, vict its victors between the Hustler versus Dynasty and Wilbur versus the BBI. The BBI scooping an enormous following and support from 41 county assemblies in the country. This has raised ambiguous political questions. One, will the BBI's massive support be reciprocated during a popular referendum vote? And two, will the ultimate results be a reflection of the 2022 general elections? And who better to have this conversation with but the members of county assembly who participated in this process? With me tonight, we have Nairobi-nominated MCA Mary Ariviza, Kiambu County MCA and Majority Leader Gideon Gashara, and Baringo MCA Silas Tuchim, and Nidai Say, an MCA from one among two of the only opposing county assemblies. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on our last show this month, the 25th of, uh, day of February 2021, a day that we are also witnessing the purge in the two leading coalitions in the 2017 General Elections, Ju General Elections Jubilee and NASA elections are here despite being at least 529 days away. New alignments are in the offing as well as new handshakes. However, our fourth and senior panelist is you watching. We ask you tonight on our question of the day. Are you happy with how your member of county assembly voted in the just concluded BBI drive? Are you happy with how your member of county assembly voted in the just concluded BBI drive? Send in your feedback to our, to our SMS line triple one triple four triple one. Our WhatsApp number zero seven eight five nine three nine five two nine zero seven eight five nine three nine five two nine. Also on our social media handles, use at Switch TV Kenya link on Mbogo. Remember to use the hashtag tipping point. Let's keep this show as interesting active as possible. My name is Lincoln Ombogo, our sign language interpreters tonight are Michael Mathieu and Teresia Washira. Thank you for creating time, uh, uh, Madam Arivizia Gashara and uh, Tuchim. Now, Emma Skemunye seems to be too sure, too sure, just like Ralph Odinga in this Super Tuesday. Let me just, let me, let's just take a look at what Kemunya had to say. But we want to give maximum time, probably a week, all right, for debate. And then by the time the question is put, uh, we hope members will take a cue from the, our uh, younger members in the county assemblies, uh, our younger brothers and sisters in the county assemblies who debated and saw what was good for their counties. Yeah? Uh, because everyone votes based on their interests. The county assemblies were very clear. We are voting because we can see 35%. We can see our independence. We don't have to be uh, to, to keep getting their money through the governor. We can see we have more oversight over the county assembly through 179.4. We can see, you know, the, they have a ward fund, so it does, there's no discrimination by a governor just because a ward does not support him. So there's so many things that they saw as the benefits. When we come to the House, members of the House are also seeing, yes, we are operating under, we don't have a law on CDF. For once, it will be anchored in the... That's Amos Kimunya. He seems too sure, just like Ralph Odinga, as I said earlier before, with his Super Tuesday, that in Parliament, unanimously, they will vote for the BBI. Gasharo, let me just start with you. Why does he seem too sure? Um, it has been a process uh, for the ratification or for the decision which uh, most of the county assembly took. And one of the requirements is that we must involve the public, which we did. So if you take a cue from what most of the public, most of the people said, is that they want us to go and pass the proposal so that it can go to the next level, and eventually they can be handed a chance to decide. And that's, you're too sure? He's um, just like Kimunya. Just like Kimunya, you're I'm, too sure? I'm too sure that this amendment will come to see the right of the day. Yes. Are you too sure, just like Asharan Kemunya and Raila with the Super Tuesday, that it's going to pass with a unanimous vote in Parliament? Yes. Um, I believe the Honorable Kemunya is not talking out of the blues. Mm -hmm. They have gauged the views of the various people, the stakeholders. They are also on the ground. Uh, though our MPs are normally in Nairobi, during the working time over the weekend they are with the people in various places where they come from so i know they have gauged the ground we also did as my counterpart has said that we took people 
And those are the very people that the MPs also get their votes from. And uh, for instance, we in Nairobi, we held a meeting with the stakeholders in the various wards, and then we culminated at the hall in the city center. And um, they, it was unanimous that they wanted it. And th these are some of the reasons. 5% uh, of everything that will be got from the various counties will be retained within the counties. And uh, that will be shared among the wards. Are you too sure, just like Ibuni and Raila? Yes. That it's going to pass unanimously? Yes, it is going to pass unanimously. Thank you. To Chim, in Baringo County, that wasn't the case. It did not pass. Yes. Do you still have the same sentiments? Do you do you support Kibunya? Well, <clears throat> they say let the majority have their their way, uh -huh. and the minority have their say. Yes. Well, What's like you say? Uh, well, personally, are you and the majority uh, or are you the minority? Uh, I'm the minority, <laughs> and we've, we've we've heard our say. Yes. And uh, well, we, we we accept the verdict of the many counties who, who, which have passed the the bill. And as per what uh, Honorable Kemunya said, I have a different opinion. Wow, what's that? The common manage may have a different opinion. You like in so? Kiambu, when they were celebrating, Nyoro and, uh, and Mwishimi were here. Uh -huh. When they were celebrating, Wananji were just wondering what's happening. They were not even interested in what was happening. Likewise to my county. And uh, other Wananji, because you know the leaders, the MCAs and the members of parliament, you know, they are few, mm -hmm. and they can be controlled, and they can have some influence, but Mwananji can have a difference. Eh? Tuchin, you're saying that they can be controlled. What do you really mean by they can be controlled? And, and uh, Arivisa and Gashara <laughs> will tell us, were well, they controlled I want to be very sincere. <laughs> this, this, this bill, which has just been passed by many, many counties, yes. it was not fair. Most MCAs were intimidated. Some were coerced. And some were taken by choppers like Samburu. Uh -huh. They went for them. And in Kiambu, there are even outsiders who came to watch how they were doing. Like the businessmen, they came to see. Others, you see, we had the car grant. Do you well, have, it was, do it you was have our right. Evidence? Do you have evidence to Chim? Because, well, well because the car is here, I, 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 think I, I think I can clarify something. Now, before that, let me say, the car grant, the car grant, okay. let him clarify. The, the car grant, <laughs> well, it was our right. But why come at this time? Of time. Have you received it? We'll get to that. No, before we'll that. that. <laughs> so it, too, it is the feeling of Monaiji <laughs> that MCS have been bribed. In Baringo. <laughs> in all, all over the country. That in is Baringo. why if you read in social media, they're saying, yes. well, be ready to, to give us Kagran as well so that we, we may pass. And it is true. MCS were, we were called here in Pangani, to be headquarters, to come and to be reprimanded. Baringo County, we were, we were summoned. And we were Who told summoned you? The, the Tuju, and say this is the, the position of the party. You have to pass this bill. So part of the reason why we refused is because of the the pushing that we were given. And then we had the feeling that this thing might be it, it is more than this. So MCS, to be honest, they were under pressure. They were did you, not vote. No, why you under per, pressure, as, as, as no, per their, Not their not at all. Not at all. Uh, 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 not at all. And because my county assembly has been mentioned twice by Moheshimwa, yes, I think I need to clarify something. Clarify, please. And it is good to watch the entire clip because actually the celebration started in the assembly. Then we went to Kambu, uh, our town. And uh, if you take time and watch the entire clip, you will see thousands of people. I think the bit which he watched is as, uh, as people were retreating back to home. You see now everybody is going, you know, to, uh, you know, back home, and probably that is why he is saying that uh, people are not bothered at all. Because, but if you look at that clip in the assembly, people had turned out in thousands; they were in big numbers. And when you are talking about the assembly proceeding, I don't think you can bar anybody to come and participate and follow the proceeding. And they, that is what we had actually invited them. The people? The people and even our neighbors. Because Kiambu has very many neighbors, neighbors and very many friends. We had invited them. And majority of them 
stand up. And you, if you check um, around Mount Kenya, most of the county assembly passed the amendment in the morning. But as we decided to do it in the afternoon, so that at least we can jo enjoy some air time when very, <laughs> you know, not uh, yes. uh, other county when they have actually uh, mm -hmm. completed, uh, you know, you know that affair. So we were, we are not under pressure. Nobody and, uh, coerced you. Nobody. In fact, as we uh, 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 we made a decision depending on the content of the document, and that is what I would want my friend to clarify: whether the content content are coming to benefit Wajiko, to benefit Monanchi, or they are coming to benefit, you know, the reader, as they are saying. If you are keen to go through the amendment, any change which has been, you know, uh, 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 mentioned, you will see that they are coming to help and to strengthen the devolution, which we take care. Thank you, Goshara. Honorable Revisa, yes. I'd like to ask you, did the two million car grant that you were promised play a part in the decision that you made in supporting the BBI in Nairobi County? I, I want to start it uh, by saying that um, BBI did not start when we came to the assembly. BBI started off and we went to Kakamega to popularize it. We used our money. I remember going to Kakamega. I remember going to Mombasa. I remember going to Kitui. I didn't go to Garissa, but some of my friends from the county went. And I used my money when I went to those places. And uh, for somebody to come and say that we were coerced, we were given car grant, I think it's erroneous. What could happen here is um, a father who sees you are behaving very well, you have been using your money going to Mombasa, you have been using your money going to Kakamega, says he remembers you and says this boy or this girl is, is good. I think I had given her something, some inheritance and uh, it has been forgotten. Why don't they have it? It is, and we cannot refuse. And I have asked my friend here if he has refused. And he will not refuse. And his friends, even the ones who voted against, they will, it will be in their bank and they will take it. It's because you cannot refuse a gift that has been offered you. However, that gift does not mean that is what coerced us. We had already made up our mind because of one, what I have already said there. 5% of what comes, for, for instance, from Kiambu County will remain within Kiambu, Kiambu County and it will be disputed among the uh, wards that are in Kiambu. For instance, in Nairobi we, get, we, we generate about 35 billion. I know now with proper management we can even generate 50 billion. Out of the 50, 5% 5 will remain in Nairobi and that means about probably 3 to 5 billion could remain in Nairobi and be shared among the 85 wards that can amount to about 100 million per ward. That is enormous. We can do very many development that can just start from the people themselves. Secondly, the, pe the people, the people, before, before we continue with, yes. with what will remain in the counties and yes. what is there that the, pro the BBI yes. uh, bill is proposing, yeah. do you have the 2 million? Uh, not yet, but it is. Uh, I know it is going to come. Do we I have haven't, but uh, half of Nairobi County is very big, and so the money that had gone out, remember we were not being given money that is new. That's mm -hmm. what I want to clarify. Please here. clarify. The, the money that uh, MCS have been told that they are being given uh -huh. as um, a bribe is uh, money that we already had and we were already paying lo loan. So it's like your father just kind of writing it off. Uh, so that we have already paid, we have paid plus interest. When an MCA enters an assembly, and our brothers will say it, there is what is in statutes law, that you get 3 million that is worth of mortgage, and you get 2 million that is worth of a car grant, I mean a car loan. And so when we came in, some of us got it immediately and started paying. So some got 5 million, some, uh, because it's a process and you have to give some, um, uh, let's say a title deed or something to hold it. Some of us got 3.5, 3.8, depending on when you got it, because you have to pay it within the five years. Mm -hmm. So we have already been paying this. So it doesn't really mean this money will come to you and you were bribed. You were already paying that loan. It's just somebody saying, he loan pali mefika, wacha ishia hapo. So it doesn't mean even our brother will be happy if he can get, let's say, a chameleon to go with <laughs> it home. But it is something that has already been there. So there is no bribing here. It is a mistake. It is a misinformation that has been generated by people that were anti-BBI. And I don't think the president really meant to look it for it to be a bribe 
or anything. It's just um, a, a thing that you can give your children when you just feel like these guys have worked well, they have worked hard, and we have been working hard. Like, for instance, in Nairobi, we MCS there, we are in the capital. And let me tell you, many of us will be going home uh, walking. We will be going home doing. And when I am, like, for example, in the state where I'm staying, if there is a mama that is having a baby, people will come for me to drive them to get a baby. I'm telling you. Because we are True. closest to the people. Yes, we are the closest people that people come to when there is a problem. So having a car is not a luxury for an MCA. Having a car is actually a necessity because it becomes a communal car where you are living. Chachim, well, do you agree with them? Well, partly I agree with them, but at the same time, I what? would like to request my... I, 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 I would like to know, what is that partly that you agree with? Uh, <clears throat> to be honest, car grant, it's a, it's a right for the MCAs. The members of parliament, the senators, and the women reps are given seven million car grant. Mm -hmm. First of all, we have to differentiate between a grant and a loan. Mm -hmm. A grant is something you're just given and that is it, you go home. But a loan, you have to repay. So here, there has been, um, the MCAs had been disadvantaged. They were paying back for the car, the car loan. And in 2016, you know, they were agitating, they were requesting the president that please give us, let it be a grant. And the president in Mombasa, there's a clip which the president ascended and said, you will get it. But they were not given. When we came in, 2017, we were not given the grant. We were given the loan. That is what Mushimia said. We were repaying. But because of this BBI, they have, they have changed it to be a grant. Why change now? now Isn't it a, a bribe? Touch him, touch him. On there, on the screen right now, that is Beringo County Assembly. And there seems to be a scuffle and... It doesn't seem to be very, very friendly. What was happening there? That Were you there? Well, I'm th I was there. <laughs> what was and happening? You see me. You, what was happening there is when we were discussing the bill, mm -hmm. the BBI bill. That was when they had someone asked to come to this uh, Jubilee headquarters, Pangani. What was that? What was, what was the problem? So there, well, we are, the majority there is Jubilee. Uh -huh. And we have passed the bill. But the few who are, who are, who are Kanu and, and a few independents, they were opposing that we should not let it go. Mm -hmm. One of the MCAs grabbed the microphone from the chairman, Charles Koske, and the scuffle started. And that is why they were, they were opposing that we should not discuss it. And since they were few, the bill went through and we passed it. So coming back now to the issue... Uh, you passed uh, it you, or you opposed it? They opposed it. No, it went through, but we opposed it. I hope oh. you understand. Mm -hmm. So now, the issue of... Um, why we refused or why we opposed yes is because um, we feel we are disadvantaged baringo county in what sense because kiambu are getting are you getting 12 constituencies or six they are yeah getting depending on our population yes and Nairobi they are getting in baringo it is zero you're not getting any nothing additional cons constituencies. Kiambu is two 2.5 kilometers square and baringo is almost 12 thousand kilometers square. Kiambu will go to Baringo five times. So we have a fast area, but the population is is really not much. We are almost 700,000, mm -hmm. uh, the population. So, well, again in Baringo, we have the Iljamos, which is a minority community. And in fact, the court in 2016 had ruled that they should be given a constituency. So we feel we are getting nothing in this um, in this BBI, and nothing coming in. And again, the issue of this um, BBI. Well, they have said we are getting more more money is coming in that five percent. Well, it is true, but where is the money coming from? When we have the debts here, we've gone beyond the limit of borrowing. We have um, problems here. The the debt is gone very high. Where will we get the money? The money will come from taxes. So Monanchi is going to food the bill of these raised, raised uh, resources coming to the counties. So we are going to pay this money coming in. The taxes will go very high. Parliament has been increased to 640. Who is going to pay them? These MPs, the few, the senators, the Monangi is going to pay. Even, if, even as we appreciate that we will get the money, and now we are living in borrowing, where will Monangi get the money? It will be taxation. I, I, I think I need to take Muheshimua to class and uh, 
you know, uh, train him on the content of BBI. What exactly? Uh, because actually... Uh, what you need to tell us where we'll get this money. Uh, that the 5%, where will we'll it ja, Just in a short while, Mwashimua. Okay. Please, us. please, Gashara. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Actually, is Mwashimua aware that what the counties are getting currently is 39%? Not 15%. You see, it is the law that prescribed that the county should not get anything less than 15. But if you do the arithmetic, what we are getting, it is that 29%. Indeed, I remember a meeting which was shared by the deputy president sometime back, about two weeks ago. In fact, they proposed an increment on what the county, you know, were getting. Uh, they proposed an, a, a, an increment of about 3%. The 35% he is talking about it is the 35% of the last audited account. Do you, believe, Shima, do you believe we are living in borrowed money? No, 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 no. I'm going to, first of all, let me explain why Mwananchi will not be taxed more. There will be no, any, you know, no new taxes. Because the 35%, it is based on the budget. If the country is doing very well, the 35% will be more. If you are not doing well, the 35% uh, percent will be less. Because we are talking about less percentage. Than yeah? or no, 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 no. Okay. Percentage is different from absolute figure. Because percentage vary. 35% of 1,000, uh, because the percentage will, will, will still remain, is not the same as 35% of 2,000. If a country is doing well and our budget is, let's say, uh, currently we do a budget of about 1.7 trillion. If we are doing 2 trillion, that 5%, that means it uh, goes up. So, you know, we are talking about our budget. So we are not talking about any additional taxes. And that is a propaganda which is being peddled by the people who are anti-BBI. Now, let me ask you, Gashara. Because you've said the counties have been getting 29%, some counties complain that they have not gotten any money from the Treasury. Even that 15% which is stipulated Let in the Constitution. I want to challenge. Has Kembu County I want received to any challenge, money? I want to challenge anybody, any governor, any Mwajimua from any county to tell us in the last financial year that they did not receive their full allocation. Yes, I know we had some problem last year, the financial year 2020-2021, because of the pandemic. And I know still the national government is holding our exchequer. But I want to assure you, by the time we are reaching July, all county will have received their due, their allocation. They will have received in totality. Uh, what I know is this. Yes. Constitutions are not made for us. What do you constitutions mean? are meant for posterity. Mm -hmm. Let me explain. When you make a constitution, you just don't think about your immediate environment. I, for one, am very hopeful. This country is great. The other day I was in Lodu. You know the minerals that are in that part of the world, they are not found anywhere in the rest of the world. And yet it's, they still remain unexploited because of, uh, I think God is just waiting for a certain generation that will be ready, that is not corrupt, that is not going to sell our heritage to whoever comes and gives them some kickbacks. And I come to the next. The fact is what is ailing this country is corruption. And unfortunately, some of us who are leaders have been the ones who have been perpetuating the corrupt attitude. Uh, the, the, for instance, when President Uhuru and uh, the DP came into power in 2013, I was actually, as an educationist, I was quite shocked that two tribes would come up and decide that they are sharing uh, seats 50-50. Where were the rest of us as Kenyans? I was so shocked. But the president was very good. In his cabinet, he brought in Akinabalala, he brought in Akinangilu, but our deputy fully even the parastatos that he chose, they were all from his own tribe. Arrives. What? Me, no, let, just let, let uh, I'm, I'm coming. Because, I'm because, coming to the point. Because, that, because time, if I leave it there, we take a short commercial break. If I leave break, it there, there it will not be. No, no, no. It's time something. we take a short commercial break. Are you happy with how your MCA voted in the just concluded BBI drive? Are you happy with how your MCA voted in the just concluded 
BBI Drive. Send in your feedback to our SMS line, triple one, triple four, triple one, and at Switch TV Kenya and at Lane Colombo. Where the conversation continues after this short commercial break. Welcome back. Thank you for keeping it Switch TV. You're watching Tipping Point. I'm Lincoln Obogo. Our guest tonight, uh, Gideon Gashara, Ari Visa from Nairobi County, and uh, Silas Tuchim from Kiambu County. Uh, from Barigo, Barigo, Barigo County. County. <laughs> Gashara, majority in Kiambu County. Now, um, State House has today issued their immense gratitude to the more than 40 counties that have considered the Building Bridges Initiative Constitutional Amendment Bill, terming their decision as monumental. Baringo Senator Gideon Moy, who was issuing the statement on behalf of the Secretariat, termed the BBR report as a once-in-a-while generational break from the past. He has further hinted of a consultative meeting on the 9th of March 2021 involving members of parliament and county's leadership before proceeding to civic education exercise for the public. Let's take a look. Today, on behalf of a grateful nation, we convey our immense gratitude to all our county assemblies for their monumental support for this popular initiative. Their bold action sets the foundation upon which Kenya shall advance intergenerational equity, realize gender parity, guarantee equal opportunities for all, and give each Kenyan a bigger slice of our shared prosperity. That is Gideon Moy on behalf of the BBI Secretariat. I know, Tochim, you're not so happy about that. But Kenyans, this is what Kenyans had to say. Among them, King Kaka, I believe all of you know King Kaka, the artist. He said, in, 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 in a tweet, he said, and just like that, modern day Judas, Wame Pigwa, two million Wauze Kenyans, in, ex, in, in exception of you, Tochim, the rest of you feel like you betrayed Kenyans, I'll come back to you. And, uh, uh, other Kenyans, this is what they had to say. MCAs passed the BBI because uh, of party pressure to tell uh, the lady and the man from Kiambu uh, to s just stop. But that is that is Maoni Awanainchi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, one says from Kayole, shame on all the MCAs who passed this bill. It is not, it is, it is not what uh, we, we, we intended. One is saying, MCAs were bribed to pass the bill. Only those who are blind, can't hear or smell, do not know this. I still don't know why you have to bribe a good law. I do not understand what he actually really means by what you have to do. Why, why do you have to bribe a good law uh, for it to pass? Uh, one is saying, proud of my MCA for voting yes, Majority Leader Kiambu. This is Faith Munyuande from uh, Kiambu County. Mike from Mambu County says, I'm not happy with my MCAs at all. And blessing favor and will say is uh is she's from all and she is watching and bbi to her is a no before i come to you arivisa baringo senator gideon Moore, please react to him well thank you very much i want to say that um that he was reading a, a statement of of a, of a team and i want to say they have said on 9th of march they will have a consultative mm -hmm. meeting to kick off the popularization will you be there my question is will you attend no i will not attend why have a popularization in a popular process if it has been accepted why should you popularize why use money to go around the country and all the counties have passed and one engine there you've seen what they have what they have written 90 percent of what they have said they have said we don't agree with what you're discussing here so I'm, i stand to be vindicated that this document is not good my senator there was reading and in his backyard, we've refused. Why should he just talk there and he has not come to the ground? Another thing I was... Has he met you after, you know? You rejected the bill? No, he's not. And I don't think he will meet us because... Even if we repeat because they went to court, mm -hmm. we will still vote it out. stop them? No, we will still vote it out because Parliament. we believe that we don't have... We have to stand on what you believe on. And that is what the world needs. That we need people who are principled. What are you saying? That we will not change our minds on what we have said. That this document is not good. In any case, it is shrouded in secrecy. 
There is something more than what they are telling us. So Chima, are you saying that it's not good for the people of Baringo or it's not no, good I'm for the whole country as a whole? For the whole country. It's not good. It's not good. Not at this time. Why the hurry? Why the pressure? So, and, and that's that what, uh, where I had, I had left. I was just about to say the good about this document. Please. Yeah, we don't want a country that will be bullying where some big tribes will be coming together to bully the rest of the 42 or the three tribes in this country. And I'd already just said how our president at least managed to include in his 2013 some other tribes. Our person that uh, is our deputy president that is opposing this B, uh, BBI, he did not include any other tribe from his choosing of the 50-50. And this is on record. Any people that he chose in the parastatos, they were all from his tribe. We can't run a country like that. And that's why the handshake had to come in. Because we, the, 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 the people of the handshake, the president and uh, uh, the former prime minister, Raila, they were together because they want to leave a legacy of a united country. And I've said that you don't make constitutions because of what is happening at the moment. You don't make a constitution because of um, being able to cont or make or lack of it because you want to have more power so that you can uh, exercise that power. It has from 2010, and I was in the constitution making at Bomas. We have now seen how this constitution is working and we had said that 20% of it was not good. It wasn't, but we pass it and we would be able at an appropriate time be able to come together and I'm quoting what even the experts said we can come back together and look at it we have said that having two people there at the top and the winner takes it all is dangerous for this country the country will not remain united secondly the resources which was the bombers uh, uh, resolution was decentralization of power and decentralization of resources this BBI makes it very clear for the decentralization of resources as well. It goes back to Mahinani, you know, where people who are there matters. We are not just saying this thing is bad, this thing is bad. We are giving reasons why it is good, that Kenyans can feel part and parcel of this country. I was in Lodwa, and sometimes people in Lodwa feel like, uh, Salimia watu wa Kenya. We must end that narrative where a person from Lodwa feels that they are not part of this country. I want, when I'm still alive, when I can have a Turukana becoming the president of this country, because the, le the playing ground is so level that any son of a person, any son of anybody can become a president of this country. As it stands, people have to get a lot of money in their pocket in order to buy their way into being the head of this or the CEO of this country. That cannot work. Elvis, then when, women, when I want say, to say about say women. Say something about women. Women are so well represented in this BBI. Why? Mm -hmm. For the first time, the Senate, which is the house that uh, is for devolution, is going to have uh, a woman representing women and a man representing men from every uh, uh, county. It looks like it is uh, adding more of you know, uh, people to work, but there's nothing that has been added. And I'm just a kind of educating. I'm a teacher, so I'm educating my brother. What has happened is the women rep is the one that has just taken over to be another senator. So there is no replica. It is the same. So there will be, there'll be none. Two women are represented, men are represented. Women are also gaining in the main uh, National Assembly. How? Affirmative action will still take place. If the men are the majority in their National Assembly, there will be an affirmative action for women to get position and people living with disability will also be a chosen one person uh, who is a, a person who living with disability and a youth. So we are still very well represented as women. While at the Senate, we are represented fully at par, and at the National Assembly, we are also going to have affirmative action. This affirmative action is not forever. And that's why women, we as women, uh, we are going to have to go to be elected on the ground. Uh, this time around, it will not be, uh, I've done so much for the party and so the party thinks I am. No, mm -hmm. I have to go posters. and make posters and put them there and the, the people, the one inch vote and whoever would have voted with the highest vote according to what will have been given to be, uh, be, 
Electoral Boundaries Commission is the one that will be taken. So there are very many good improvement in the constitution I, and this is there. I, I agree with you, but, but yes, Bashara, uh, Bashara, you seem to understand uh, the math in this and Kenyans are concerned about a bloated wage bill. Where is that money going to come from? Yes, as I respond to your qu uh, question, mm -hmm. I want to continue or pick from where my sister has Please. been. You know, what BBI is bringing is bringing some form of equality in terms of representation. But don't because we have at that the moment, be, be, No, we don't have. Because at the moment, most populous county have been marginalized. Like Kambu. We have a case scenario Please. of an MP in Roiro mm -hmm. who is representing more than 400 thousand people and another MP somewhere is representing 20,000 people why is fairness there there is no fairness in fact if you do the population quota you know there should be some form of equality in terms of representation and that is why a county like Kiabu is being handed some constituency we are not being given because resources for people our county has 2.4 million people. Some county have 360,000 people. So one, one sub-county in Kiambu is, is, is popular than a county somewhere. So we have to bring some form of fairness in terms of representation so that at least resources are shared equitably. And that is one of the reasons why we as Kiambu we are uh, supporting this. Let me say something in terms of also representation because there is this uh, thinking that positions are being increased. Not at all. What do you mean? In fact, as my sister mm, has what said. What do you mean really? Let me say, uh, as my sister has said, mm -hmm. you know we are just shifting the women rep from the National Assembly to the Senate. Senate. That is fine. That is the same. That is okay. Yes. The only thing that we are doing is to bring representation nearer to the people. And that is why we are having some few constituencies being added. Because it is not fair at all to the people of Roiro to share 137 million okay. when they are 460,000 and some and another constituency like Ijara who are 20,000 or 30,000, they are sharing the same amount of money. Where is fairness there? So we must try and create some you know, form of fairness so that at least people can be reached by the resources you know, uh, 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 properly. So that if that is what they are calling uh, 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 increment in terms of posi uh, position, that is not what we are seeing as Kambu. As we are seeing equality in terms of representation now the larger okay. the, Let me just the larger the larger part of uh you know no no you know Kiambu is just one county out of the 47. now there's some uh there, there's some counties where uh kenyans say that this plotted wage bill increased the number of uh, legislators but the number of people remains the same the way of conducting business remain the same the kenyans are broke and kenyans are wondering where is this money going to come from can i tell that? you something and this is from a survey and research which was done if you bring all the erected readers, you know, people, and look at what they are earning, it does not even reach 10% of what other people are paid in terms of salary. In what? In other countries? No, even in Kenya. It's not more than 10%. But, but in other countries? No, let me say Members something. Members of it, parliament it, it, are earning it, it a lot. It is around that figure. It's, it is around say, that um, figure. Please. Please, Tachin. Can we be realistic? I want us to be sincere here. This BBI, and the way the Ma Ma Moshimia here has been telling us that we're going to have more representation, women. They have just changed women rep to be women senator. Mm -hmm. And you've talked of um, the, 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 this one for women, women rep. Uh, the fund for women rep, what's the name? Women. And the fund, the one which they are getting now. The seven uh, million which they normally get. Yeah, they normally get. So yeah. I, I don't see any difference here because they have just changed the name, yeah. but they are still there. And so they will go and, and request for votes. 
Sir, you just you just like, like, like removing your money from this pocket and put it here. Yeah. So it is still the same. That's why it is. Mushi, but actually, but actually, but actually, who no marry erect a woman? Let us finish. She is no marry erected within. Please the finish, Gashara. So it is yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Bring Gashara, somebody. Let us finish. Okay. Let women finish. is elected by people, and they have changed to be senator women. Yes. Women senator, and she's still going to be re elected by the people. And the money she has been receiving there will receive there. Yeah. Now let's come to the issue of uh, wage bill. It has increased the wage bill, Mushimio. How? You've increased the members of parliament to 640 from what we have now. And you have also there is, And again, the issue of, 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 of um, these new constituencies and uh, how, how it was, you know, how, what modalities, what criteria did they use so that they say Kiambu is six? Was in Gishu is three. Who, who did that? Baringo and normally zero. it is being done and Baringo zero. Mm. And normally that is being done by IEBC. Who did that? And the issue of this country being broke. You've really, Moshimiwa, you is are not sincere. Broke? Yeah, the country is broke. And that is in, 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 in <coughs> it is documented. It is in public domain. Tanya has been saying we don't have money. Rincon. No, listen, do, let me do finish. You know the limitation of Kindly boundaries Moshimiwa, is let me just finish. done after let me just finish. 10 years. Can you protect me? And the last Lincoln. time it was Gashara, done, it was in, in, no, in Gashara, majority. Gashara, I'll come to you. I'll come to you in a bit. <laughs> I don't know where this Waishimiwa are living. Is, is Kiambu a different country from, from uh, in Kenya? We are in Kenya. Yatani has been saying we don't have money. The leader of this uh, council of, of governors, Oparanya, even threatened to sue the government because they had not received the, re released the money. Yatania said, we have to privatize some parastatu. We have to, to render some people jobless because the country do not have money. And you are telling us we have money. Percentage. You are talking of percent, 29%. Yes. When even the 15%, we are not I, getting. I, I think also you don't follow so the news. He also don't follow the news because KRI announced that it has surpassed it, it's in Because we've correction. been borrowing, we don't have money. My friend, we are just from a pandemic, yeah, and right. it but was not only in borrowing. Kenya. When it was not started, only we in had, Kenya. We had the but from, one, the one beginning, from the beginning of this year, KRI has surpassed. But the borrowing wa did not start its yesterday. It has are we, so we are, we are, are, we are soon, we are, we are soon getting back to our feet. My yeah. brother. Soon my brother has just been feet. on our side. He has already said that we are just exchanging the uh, women, women rep to, mm -hmm. women to the senator. Senate. So no money is being added there. But we have agreed. The, the Number two, members let, of me give you, let me give you another one the area executive. where people are saying we are having a bloated executive. Yes. We are, are, we are adding a prime minister that's added money. No. Okay. What we have no. done is uh, in uh, uh, BBI is that uh, the executive, uh, we are allowing the cabinet ministers to also be picked from parliament. Although some or a few can be also be picked from outside. So it is a mixed system now. Uh, that means these guys will only get some subs subsistence for upkeep. At what but uh, they will only get from parliament. At what expense? No, it is because this p representation will still be there, whether mm -hmm. they become ministers or not. So you are uh, creating a position for inclusivity for many Kenyans, but we just a little allowance. But there are, but they are already new ministers. They are already members of parliament. So whether they they became prime minister, deputy prime minister or not, they were already going to be members of parliament. Anyway. But do you believe we have seventy new constituencies? So, and also, you know, so we are uh, just a moment. Let, let we finish. are let also finish. having <laughs> the seventy uh, constituencies, yes, yes, and yes. he has already put in yes. the representation. Uh -huh. It is very important for people pa feel to feel part of this country. Let me tell you, 2013, in case my brother had just forgotten, there was what was called Central Republic of Kenya and the People's Republic of Kenya. I don't know whether you saw it on media. That thing has not gone completely. We must make sure people feel part of this country. Like the, the one the president has just had today. Meeting when Kalonzo is seen there and Ngilu Kambas know our things are being talked about. When Musalia is there, Luyas and Weta, Luyas know that they are things. When uh, Raila is there, uh, the Luos feel part of this country. But when the president and the deputy president only meet, there is no representation. And we are hoping that the cabinet ministers and the parastatos, as these people talk at the top, they will be able to represent the peoples of Kenya. Let me say the other the other thing that is very important. A, this a, country is not broke. Because we have less I want to minutes. answer. This country is not broke. It's not no broke. broke. It is because we have corrupt people who have milked the treasury.
at the expense. They will got the BBI into the, this corruption. The, the, yes, it, it, we have a, a clause there yes. where, which says yes. that which says that if uh, a person whistleblowers, they will be given something small so that we have many whistleblowers and the punishment for people who are involved in corruption will be very harsh and they will be removed permanently from and faster determination and faster of determination of the cases. Yes. So Kenya is suffering not because it's broke. It corruption. is because of corruption. People with the uh, going uh, Thank stealing. Thank you, Elisa. We have less than a minute. And, and, and the the do you seven... think you're going to be voted in by the your your, oh, of your course, people? Yes, of course, yes. Of they will course, vote yes. you in? Yes. And do you think you have betrayed the people of Kiambu no, because I've I seen have, SMSs? No, I have not betrayed anybody. In fact, I was under strict instruction that I should make sure that my vote is yes. It is affirmative. And the seventh uh, seat he is talking about, as we are not seeing them as in terms of uh, MP salary, we are seeing them in terms of constituency development fund. Thank you, Mashara. We have less than a minute. Referendum. A new referendum. Multiple choice, yes or no? What's your take? Very first, just referendum. If you have a referendum mm -hmm. in June, mm -hmm. multiple choice or yes or no? Yes or no. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes or no. Yes or no. If you have a referendum in June, multiple choice or yes or no? Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Yes. Final my, words. My final in, in words is in twenty this, seconds. Yeah, this country we have the way they have said there mm -hmm. are corruption, and BBI will come and sort out the corruption. We had the problem of Kemsa, COVID yes. billionaires. Yes. Did we really need BBI to come and sort this COVID billionaires? The president said thirty days or thirty days we will have sorted the issue of those who stole the money. So we are waiting for BBI to come and solve this problem. The issue of the judges who had been proposed to be sworn in, the president has, re has refused to swear them in. Do you need BBI to come and solve that? So we need to implement this 2010 constitution before we talk of BBI. Arvise, mm. very quickly, very short answer. Do you think the ultimate result of the referendum will be a reflection of the 2022 general election? Not necessarily. Not People necessarily. will be voting and saying, Yes, I want uh, things, uh, resources and the power decentralized to our... But on, on the other hand, these people, the great people of Kenya, will be rewarding some of the people that have stood with them. Because as uh, my counterpart here says, this means that they're having more money coming through the CDF, they're having more money coming in through the World Development Fund, which has been constitutionalized in this BBI. So it will not be a reflection of 2022. No. What do you think, Ashara? Will it be a reflection? In, in fact, we we are advising people to detach the issue of BBI and with 2022, 2022. erection, yeah. because the issue of BBI is about a constitutional amendment. So it will not. The, uh, I don't think. Tachim, will it be a reflection of 2022? Well, you remember. I, I want to pray mm -hmm. that we have this, this yes uh, BBI no? uh, peacefully, uh -huh. because it's it's dividing. Will it be a reflection of 2022? Well, it's going to bring. Uh, realignments which will take us to 2022 thank you <laughs> quote of the day politics is the general art of getting votes from the poor and campaign and campaign fans from the rich by promising to protect each from the other by oscar Amerenga. well the views described in this show are strictly individual views and do not portray the views of switch tv the conversation continues Next Thursday, I am Lincoln Obogawa, sign language interpreters, or Michael Maithia and Teresia Washiro. Many thanks for watching. Good evening.